Shalom, this is GMS Hollis Sit Downs coming back with the lesson. First off and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Kakadash, double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect out there that are spreading this word of sincerity and truth all over the four corners of the earth. <clears throat> this is going to be another edition of uh, comparing nature with the truth. Okay, it's been a while since I did a video like this, um, but something spiritual happened, and I didn't realize what happened actually until, of course, the most I manifested in your mind, and you know, then it hits you. So, um, I opened this old Instagram page of mine, um, where I used to repost some, uh, some of my videos, okay. Um, and then I saw a message of a brother And um, let me see it's lucky. Just arrived at the project See whether there's some things is already In motion but it's not So I'm going to park the car over here Okay so I had this brother Sent me a video Of these stick insects Okay Now this is one of the stick insects Okay, which is also being referred to as a leaf insect. Because why? It looks like a leaf. So the brother sent me that video. And I was looking at it. I was like, I don't understand why he sends me this video. And I wanted to ask him, like, why did you send me the video? But, you know, how the mind works, get distracted. And, uh, yeah, I kind of lost the whole message. And I can't find it no more neither because he, he sent me a video. And I can't find it no more, man. So now, I was meditating upon, you know, uh, some animals. I was actually uh, meditating upon uh, this chameleon, how it blends in. But then I was like, wait a minute. The brother sent me a video of insects that perfectly blend in, man. And this is the, the insect that he sent me. And I was like, damn. So I started to meditate upon that. And I was actually looking for the video that the brother sent me. Couldn't find it. So I looked it up. It's called a stick insect. You have different forms of stick insects. And this is like a, a, a stick insect that looks like a leaf. Now, how is this comparable to the truth? This insect nature, uh, naturally blends in. Okay, he naturally blends in. Okay, he looks like a leaf, naturally. But is he a leaf though? Okay, these insects are uh, uh, top predators, man, actually. Just like when you see uh, a ladybug, you be looking like a ladybug. The name in itself is like, um, um, not terrifying at all. But if you would actually you know come down to the size of a ladybug it's a vicious uh, predator man okay it's a vicious predator now the same thing with these um with these locusts and uh, this uh, stick insect they are vicious predators man and they blend in also to protect themselves from predators okay why do they look like a leaf so they don't get attacked by birds okay that eat them now they have the natural form their natural form is to blend in now the same thing goes for us man okay walking in this truth we have to naturally blend in man just like the stick insect okay in the dutch we call it um uh walking leaf because it is like a walking leaf he's amongst the leaves so he becomes the leaf okay now I, I'm not telling you you should become like an Edomite, but you should be able to blend in amongst those Edomites, man, at your job. These people, they are bugged out, man. Like I did, my previous lesson was like uh, to have a conversation with, with these people is vexation, man. Because really, you cannot come on the same level as them, okay? You can't have the same level of talk. You know, which is spiritual, the news, you can't talk about it. And the spiritual thing is when I did this lesson, the next day I mentioned something. And then the dude at my job said like, yeah, this is on a .org site, you know, some mystery, mysterious website again. 
And I was looking at him. I was thinking like, shit, I spoke about this yesterday, man. And here it is. You pop up with this nonsense again. But I was like, okay, fine, man. You know, you got to blend in. Now, this is where the, the, the leaf insect comes in or the stick insect. Let me check if, if it's called leaf insect also because I'm using this term loosely. Leaf. Yeah, leaf insect. Yeah. Let me just call it leaf insect, man. Okay. He naturally blends in. And this is how we got to be too. Now you might be thinking like, why is this dude comparing nature with the truth? Or why is he grabbing animals and, and try and forcefully trying to compare it with this truth? But that's not what it is, man. If you go in the scriptures, like I said many times in the, in the, in the intro of these lessons, the Lord Jehovah was comparing this truth. He was using animals to compare it with certain situations. Okay, so let me read this. And this is going into the same aspect as the leaf insect. He blends in. Okay, he blends in naturally. We have to be the same way. You shouldn't be showing your teeth. Like I said, this leaf insect is, is, a, is a top predator, predator in his environment, is in his, you know, uh, 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 size and, uh, and, and field of, you know, living amongst these insects uh, amongst these insects he eats them okay just like how you know amongst the zebra and the lion the lion is the top predator just like that this leaf insect hunts smaller insects man okay so matthew chapter 10 verse 16 behold i sent you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves be therefore wise as serpents and harmless as the do as doves but beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in the synagogues. Okay, so, so the Lord Jehoshua says what? I sent you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. So here he, he appoints the, the sheep. He points out the sheep and he points out the wolf. Okay, the Lord Jehoshua sends us forth as sheep. Okay, which sheep know their shepherd. They know who they follow. Okay, which we follow Yahweh Bashem Shai. So we are like sheep. We have one shepherd. Okay, but we are in the midst of wolves, which wolves always trying to hurt the sheep. Which those are the those Pharisees, actually people of our own nation, they're trying to harm us and trying to you know mess us up. But we gotta be. But now nowadays these. We are in the midst of these heathens, which was already being prophesied and which was already happening in those days. Habakkuk 1 and 5. Behold, he among the heathen. So we have been among a, uh, among the heathen, man. Okay. We are. We still are, man. I mean, like, listen, I, I'm, I'm living in Holland. I'm living in Rotterdam, which that is a city that is full of Jake. Like uh, my trainer, which is from Brazil, he came over here and he 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 um, lives in Rotterdam now. And he was like, what the fuck? The first day he came here, he only saw Jake, man. He was walking in the city. He didn't even see no no Edomites. So he was like, huh, what is this? Uh, he got the wrong picture of Holland. But still, you know, in certain areas, there's a lot of Edomites. And you might end up in, in an area like that. Or at the at a job, you know, where it's a bunch of devils, you gotta be wise, man. Okay, but like the scripture says, we are among the heathen. So let me read it again. Habakkuk 1 and 5. Behold ye among the heathen and regard and wonder marvelously, for I will work a work in your days which ye will not believe, though it be told you. You see, so we are among the heathen, man. Okay, so Heathens are not in, in, in sync with Jehovah Shemiyosha. Heathens are not in line with this truth. They will never actually get this truth. Okay? None of the wicked shall understand. Daniel 12 and 10. Many shall be purified and made white and tried. Okay? That is talking about us. Okay? And a part of your trial is to become like the leaf, man. Is to become... You know, is to naturally be able to blend in, just like the leaf insect does. Now, I have to uh, check something out because something popped in my mind. What does this 
what does this bug what does this insect eat I think because I'm starting to doubt I think he eats leaves a leaf insect diet consists mainly of eucalyptus leaves yeah he eats leaves Salakia for that he eats leaves when they are living in the wild, they kept in captivity. They live of dry raspberry, blackberry leaves. Okay, so this one is not a is not a predator. I was confused with the mantis. Eats. Okay, mantis eats insects, beetles, crickets. So Salakia for that. I was uh, I was uh, confused with with this one, which this one looks like a leaf too. He blends in. Look at this moving image, dope. See a mantis at large than life size. But uh, I think it's only, uh, you see, if you check this one out, which I was talking about, the ladybug, this is a, a vicious hunter, man. Okay, and when you look up close, then you start to see it. Okay, this one actually in certain cases is able to bite bite humans, man. Okay, now in in Dutch, we call them uh, lieve heersbeestje. So like a sweet bug. <laughs> a sweet bug, but he, he can bite you. Anyway, I don't think uh, the stick insect is going to be amongst this ones, these ones. But it's pretty dope to see this. I didn't know this. So, uh, quick correction on what I said earlier. But he blends in. So, he's able to eat. So, he's able to do what he's supposed to do, which is eat leaves. Okay? He blends in without being bothered by his, uh, you know, the ones that hunt for his ass. He's able to do what he has to do, man. Which is casually do his work, which is to eat leaves. Now, we have work to do also. Okay? And we also need to be able to casually do it without, you know, your job being on your neck, talking about, yeah, what you preach and what, what, is your, what your mentality is is not good. I want you to come, you know, to, uh, to, uh, to the office and uh, speak to the, to the CEO and stuff like that. You don't want to be in trouble like that, man. So you got to naturally blend in so you can just do what you're supposed to do, man. Okay. In many cases, like me, for instance, now I'm working. I just parked my car somewhere and I made a video. So if you if you naturally blend in, you know, you will get that freedom to, you know, push the work, man. You know, during your lunch break, hey, you know, I'm going to go outside a little bit, you know, chill in the car. I'm going to grab my food in the car. And then you go in your car, in your lunch break, make your video, pop, pop, pop. Nobody notices what you are all about, man. But if you are mean mugging at your job, if you're looking all vicious and angry, you know, mean mugging uh, uh, these devils, they're not going to feel comfortable around you, which actually they shouldn't. But for your own for for your own um, comfort at your job, it's best that they do feel comfortable around you. OK, it's best that they do feel comfortable around you. I have devils. At the job talking about you can never get this man angry man they talking about me that you can never get me angry like if you get this man angry they be talking like this if you get this man angry you really fucked up man so when an edomite another edomite at the job gets me angry now all the other edomites be talking about like yeah but it is impossible to get this man angry so you must have done something very very bad man you see you must have done something very bad so Hey, but that Yara Taza in this case is also um, the book of Psalms uh, 16 and 7. Yeah, that was it. When a man's ways please the Lord, he make it even his enemies to be at peace with him. Okay, so that also comes into play. If you do the will of your Abba Shemir you know, you're going to have these devils, you know, being at peace with you, man. I just drove away from the gas station without my, without my seatbelt on. And then I saw the cops and I started to put my seatbelt on and the cop was looking at me like, yeah, I saw that. But I was, I was just, you know, just trying to, trying to play it off. <laughs> but he just kept driving. He was like, ah, oh, whatever. You know, but 
I can understand that the Most High will put the Spirit upon this cup. If you're not doing His will, if you're not pushing this truth out, put the Spirit on this cup like hunt his ass down and give him a fine, man. Okay? And to be honest, that happened to me also. Like, in certain cases, I wasn't able to uh, to um, to get out of it. So, um, you know, that's just what I had to do. That, uh, or I had to deal with, man. But, hey, like the scripture says, the chastisement of the Lord is not always pleasant, but sometimes it's necessary, man. And you just got to deal with it. Now I got a bunch of devils looking at me right now, so I'm going to finna dip out. Because, you know, you got to avoid... You know, being in, in fucked up situations like that, man. You know, they're looking at me. I park my car and they sitting in front of their uh, in front of the restaurant. So I just dip out and I move somewhere else. I don't want you to me mug me because I might flip and I, I'm not finna do that because I want to blend in naturally. OK, just like the Lord said. OK, uh, let me see. Matthew chapter 10 verse 16 Behold I sent you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves Okay so to You have to become harmless as a dove Meanwhile you You, you wanna You wanna snap that neck But guess what You gotta naturally blend in man it, It's supposed to become natural to you Okay That's really what I'm trying to uh, Show you with um, The characteristic Of this Of this uh, leaf insect is that he naturally blends in. Okay? We supposed to naturally blend in too. Shouldn't be too hard for you. You should just, you know, be able to do it and not all, uh, you know, struggle, mad struggle with it and shit like that. No, 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 no. It ain't supposed to be like that. It should just come naturally. You know, be able to 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 uh, control yourself, your emotions. Okay? That's why it also says Uh, temperate slakia. Yes, this is it. First Corinthians. Okay, First Corinthians nine and twenty four. Know ye not that they which run a race run, uh, slakia run in a race run all. But one received the prize, so run that ye may obtain. So we got to run in a certain pace that we are able to, to uh, continue in this truth, man. You cannot run in a certain way, you know, in a certain pace that is too fast. And then you, you gas out and you're not able to finish the race. So if you are all in the spirit of, you know, you want to destroy these Edomites, you know, at the job, you're angry and shit like that. You know, you can't be like the mad rapper, man. This is why I'm mad. This is why I'm mad. If you do that at the job, you lose your job and everything, you know, might crumble. And the most I'd be like, yeah, this this dude has no self-control. So, you know, get rid of him. And then you you end up in a place that you really don't want to be. Go back to smoking weed. You know, don't have, uh, don't have a roof over your head. The most I just drops you like a stone, man. Okay? You figure it out yourself then. And then you, you end up, you might end up in rehab or, you know, cracked up, whatever, man. The most high is terrible. We got to understand that that if you turn your back to this truth or if you're not following in line, the most high drops you and the most high spits you out, man. Scripture speak about it. The most high going to spit you out and then you're going to find yourself in a place that you don't want to be. Like I said, man, it can be anything, man. It can be anything. So verse 25, and every man that strives for the mastery... So we, we want to become masters in this truth. We want to become skilled men. Because if we look up the word mastery. If we look up the word mastery. It says. Agon, agonizomai. Agonizomai. It says to enter contest. Contest in gymnastic games. To contend with adversaries. Fight. To contend. Struggle with difficulties and dangers. To endeavor with strenuous zeal. Str strenuous zeal strive to obtain something figuratively to fight to contend with the adversary okay fight labor so if we every so it says and every man but of course you know 
like you see over here, it also adds the word strive in the word mastery. Okay, so we are striving for the mastery. That's like, let me look it up here in the far left. Mastery. It says uh, possession of cus uh, cu customer uh, skill. It's like yeah, the status of master or ruler, control, full command of a subject or of study, full command of understanding of a subject. So we are striving, we are fighting to have full control of the 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 the, um, the goals within this truth, man. Full control of the of the um, of the skills, the perks within this truth, man. Okay, that's what we strive towards, to have this mastery, okay, all these skills. So every man that striveth for the mastery, okay, is temperate in all things. Now, what does the word temperate mean? In all things, temperate. The word temperate. Strong's G, 1467, Ekratuamai. Okay, it says to be self-controlled, con uh, continent, to exhibit self-government conduct oneself temporarily in a figure drawn from athletes who, in preparing themselves for the games, abstain from unwhole foods, wine, and sexual indulgence. Okay, so we are focused on something. So we abstain from, you know, worldly lust. We abstain from from things that can mess us up in this truth. That is to have temperance, man. Okay? So to be amongst these Edomites, the shit can go. We got to be like this this leaf insect, man. Naturally blend in, man. No, no, difficult, not, not having a difficult time to blend in because we are striving for that mastery. And if you are master, uh, if you strive for mastery, you have full command. And full understanding of what you are supposed to do when you are amongst these devils, man. That is to have mastery. Okay? Now, he does it naturally. Ain't you supposed to be like that then? To naturally be able to blend in amongst these devils? The Lord Jehovah said it. You have to blend in. You have to become like a dove, man. Harmless. You have all these things in your mind. You want to fuck them up. But you got to act like you are a dove. Okay? You got to naturally blend in. So that, you know, that is that comparison, man. Okay, so yeah, man, with that, another lesson comparing nature with the truth. I hope it was edifying. Let me see y'all in another lesson. Shalom. Yeah, and to add another thing um, is the word blend in, man. To look like things nearby. The fish settles on a sandy ocean bottom where it blends in perfectly okay so here even in the in the merriam webster dictionary the word blend in goes into certain animals man it goes into certain animals two to look like one belongs with a particular group <laughs> you see that so they say to look like one that belongs in a particular group you are not one of them but it looks like it Okay, that's how you gotta be, man. It, it has to look like you blend in, man. It has to look like you are part of them. But you're not, man. Fuck these devils, man. Fuck these heathens. Okay, but you gotta do your job. You gotta be temperate. You gotta be able to endure this race, man. So, in order to do that, you gotta blend in, man. Okay, so it says, too, to look like one belongs with a particular group. She tried to blend in by dressing like the other girls. Okay, now I ain't telling you you got to dress like these devils. But actually in cer certain cases, you got to, you know, put on a suit and tie, you know, for for uh, certain jobs. You know, if this is your um, your uh, your line of work, so to speak, you got to, you know, dress up with, with those type of uh, clothings so that these Edomites don't think like, oh man, he dressing so, you know, so rough and shit like that. So, you know, in those in those cases, you got to also, you know, check your uh, your style of dressing. And, uh, you know, uh, a brother in the camp, you know, he puts on like uh, a suit when he goes uh, for a job application, man. These people be like, huh? 
you, you you dress very appropriate, man. You we we supposed to put you all the way up there, you know, amongst these people, you know, this line of work, man. You know, but he, you know, he works in construction, so he does what he does. But when they meet him, they be like, yeah, your intellect is far far higher than you know what you actually apply for, and you know how you dress up, you come over very professional. That's how you gotta be, man. If you got your own business, you know you you. Um, uh, make a contract with these devils concerning uh, you know projects or whatever you got to dress up like that man okay just like it says here as an example she tried to blend in by dressing like the other girls it says often plus with I've always found it difficult to blend in with my peers okay but like you see in this in this example you know they use a fish man a fish settles on the sandy ocean bottom bottom where it blends in perfectly why does it blend in there to hunt other fishes you know smaller fishes come by they eat them or a predator comes by they blend in on the bottom of the ocean with the sand so they don't get snatched okay that is what it means to blend in and that's what we got to do also within this truth blend in just like that leaf insect man blend in naturally so you don't get snatched you know by these devils and you don't get messed up within this truth you know um, um, you know get messed up by these devils get persecuted before it is even the time to be persecuted just because of your own dumb mistakes okay you don't have to show your teeth at your job you don't have to show your teeth you know uh, you know outside go fight with the cops and shit like that no nah, man it ain't that time man so you will jack yourself up and the most high will be against you if you do those type of things man it all goes according to the time of the most high not according to your time that's what you gotta that's got that's what you gotta realize man so yeah man that's it